Wonderful, and we have Susie W. Jefferson on the line. Susie Jefferson is the author of Mother's Mantras. Now, Mother's Mantras, in case um, some of you have not already grabbed up your copy, go to Amazon.com right now. Go to Amazon, type in Mother's Mantras, and you will literally have in the palm of your hand quotes that probably even your own mother said, and we do have the art on the line, I believe. Miss Jefferson, are you here? Yes. Very good. Thank you, and welcome to Articulation Radio. It's such an honor to have you here today. Thank you. And tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Hazelhurst, Mississippi. Um, where is Hazelhurst exactly? I'm familiar with Jackson, Mississippi, and Meridian. Um, where is Hazelhurst? It's south of Jackson. Oh, okay. About okay. 35 miles. All right. And you grew up there in Jackson? Do you still, I mean, in um, Hazelhurst, do you still live in Hazelhurst? No, I live in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay, and your book, Mother's Mantras, when I was reading the little description, it sounds like um, your children came together and they put together quotes that they remember you saying. Is is that accurate? Do I pretty much have the gist? Correct. Okay, and so what was that like for you? Did you know that they were doing this before they did it? Oh, I was uh, excited and, you know, Supplies and all of that. Very good. And so, um, so that lets me know. No, you did not know at all. And so, when did you find out? Once the book came out. <laughs> okay. All right. And when you saw the book first printed, what was it like seeing your words, or were they actually things you remember saying? Yes, most of, for the most part. Okay, and and what was that like? Did you think that your words had had that kind of impact on your children prior? Yes. Oh, and you know, and that's good to hear, you know, because so often as parents, um, people feel as though their children are not really listening and are not really retaining their words. So how was it that prior to that book coming out, you already knew that they were remembering some of the things you said? Had they, like, been saying it prior or something? Yes, sometimes they would. 
Okay. And what is, um, I would say, since, of course, we know, and people, we're not going to tell you some of the quotes in there. We want you to go out go out now, get a Mother's Mantra by Susie Jefferson, S-U-S-I-E, Jefferson, spells like the president. And, of course, it's co-written by, of course, one of her children. And how many children do you have? Five. Five. And um, it is, and you will see it says, um, written by Susie Jefferson. You'll also see one of her children's names written there. Um, but she actually has three children um, who are Arthur's, as well as two grandchildren who are Arthur's. Is that correct? Correct. Wow. So your whole family, you all have artistic expressions. And my understanding um, from, of course, digging around and, asking around about you to the people who suggested you for the interview, they say that um, you and your children, you all do some of everything, not just have the artistic and the, um, I would say, English elements underhand, but that you all also sing, dance, um, that you even have children that read music, play various <laughs> instruments. Um, is that true? Yes. Wow. I even heard that one of your children, um, I think they said it was your son, who was, like, um, chosen to be in the Olympics or something like that. Do, do you know what that is or what that's about? Know what I'm talking about? No. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, because I was told one of your children, um, your son, was invited to, um, this was, of course, I think they said. Oh, was you in high school? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, he was invited to Hawaii to run cross country. Oh, okay. Okay, so yes, ma'am. How is it that um, you and I see that you are in a, a Mrs., that you're married, but, you know, to have five children who, you know, all do so many different things and have all these different skills, how were you able to, because I would imagine that you were, supporting them, like physically being in these different things. How were you able to juggle being a parent and providing for all these different children as well as supporting all of their creative endeavors and being present? And how, how were you able to juggle that? That's what the Lord do. Elaborate on that. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything without the Lord. Mm-hmm. I could have been on drugs, I didn't care about my children, uh, anything negative, you know, without him. I couldn't do anything. So it was just, I'm guessing, just something within you that enabled you to do these things and that pushed you to go in these directions? Yes. Okay. And um, were you, as far as your own upbringing, were you also a part of a, a moderate-sized family, or was your family larger or smaller than um, the family that you raised your children in? Well, my mother had seven children. Oh, okay. And I'm the need. middle child. Oh. I say right now my my mother oldest child is still living. She's eighty one. Wow. And how old are you? I'm sixty nine. Wow. And when is your birthday? April second. Oh, so yeah, you're almost a big seven zero, or really we can say you're already into being seventy, but you know, just haven't celebrated that whole year completed yet. So I'm gonna tell you now, happy belated well, happy early birthday as well as happy belated birthday from Articulation Radio, belated from 2018 and early for 2019. And the baby of um, your siblings, how old is the baby? Because you said the oldest is 81, you're the middle child, you're 69, and the baby, how old is the baby? Oh, I think he's 60. He's 60. Okay, and how many... um, Children, as far as like, how many siblings, as far as brothers and sisters, do you have? I know you said it's seven of you all. How many are boys? How many are girls? Uh, it was six girls and one boy. My mother had six girls and one boy. 
Okay, and I know when you mentioned the baby, you said that she was 60, so the boy is the last, and I know that you have five children, and you have one son, and he's your first. Right. Uh, very cool, very cool, and I see um, yeah, our time is ticking here, so I'm going to be wrapping up to let you go. But let me ask you real quick as my final question for you for tonight. What would you say? to encourage anyone who's going through something difficult right now and feel like what they have planned they're not able to do or not able to make happen? Because it's my understanding you had always wanted to be an Arthur, right? Yes. Okay, and that that was why your children pulled together the book to make sure you're able to be an Arthur. What would you say to people who feel like they're too old or time has passed, they've waited too long or they have too many other things going on and they can't devote the time to do what needs to be done. What would you say um, to people to try to encourage them and to get them to still move forward? Well, you never get too old. You have to keep pressing forward. And whenever you have an endless fun time, you Jot down what you remember, what you think, and pray about it. Excellent advice. Yes, excellent advice. And everyone, you heard it here from Arthur Susie Jefferson, the author of Mother's Mantras. Go out to Amazon.com today and grab up your copy. That's Mother's Mantras, M-O-T-H-E-R-S. M-A-N-T-R-A-S by Susie Jefferson, S-U-S-I-E. Jefferson, like the president. Go out and grab your copies of Mother's Mantras today. And definitely be sure to keep your ears and eyes peeled for other things that Arthur has going on so that you can attend her upcoming events and get that copy that you ordered autographed. How about that? Keep tuning in. We have an excellent song coming up for you. Problems about y'all mama. Margarita, All right, check out the last thing. Here we go. The Dallas Morning News reported a murder at midnight. The bullets was flying, the nigga was dying up in them head like, like a gunfight at the OK Corral. It's Texas guy, cause you know it'd be Texas G, get Texas Y. The first stop was the boy. The boy was lying on the cold slab. The killers they had no remorse, but left a funeral attack. He got reported on the news one night and died out. Now the niggas who did the killing is laying low in the house. Waiting a service for a reason, not a purpose. Better believe the killing season, no reason to be nervous. Now it's on in the hood, you better grip up on this joint and put somebody at your back. You better watch your point. Cause the boys in blue don't give a damn about you. You know that justice is blind and these courts don't have a clue. Protect and serve with 50 bullets in your ass. You give me 50 bullets, man, I'm giving you 51 back. Cause it was. I'm a deadly threat, these laws be fucked like this ass It makes me wonder every night will I be next Black, to die from a stray bullet, a single out for the next Jack, I live by the sword, that's how I choose to die I'm from the city where it's still and bullets smoke till the sky Ain't got no fear for these laws, packing gas And that's for real, I'm watching my cash flow stack And I let my cat watch my back, it's do or die in the hood Food drawing each other brains, I'm taking a bullet to the brain It's a way to take the pain out, be where these streets Cause these cows do get peeled And if you dance to the music, the pipe collecting this bill So you take a chance when you dance on the streets at night Circumstances enhances my chances of death Right, stand in order to fulfill my life I must die, but until then I'm keeping my shit high Midnight for most of America, it's best time. But up in the hood, that's the time for killers to make headlines. A day on top of the ground is a real good day for me. But living a long and healthy life is a real test for a G. See, I was born on these streets with my eyes open wide. And people I came with my third eye, just the age of five. 
listen every day, see in my hood, I see vibes. Some of these same old niggas spitting game. It's